I would like now to invite to the podium for the next session, Cancer Therapy Resource by Team Best Companion Presentation, Dr. J. Rao Nibanipudi. Can you please put your hands together for Dr. Rao? Ready to go? Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Rao and uh, I would like to thank uh, Ms. Stella Adamu and uh, Pacha Foundation for giving me this opportunity. And uh, all of you uh, know that uh, cancer treatment is given by three modes, uh, surgical oncology and uh, medical oncology, or chemotherapy and then radiation oncology. So I'm going to talk about radiation oncology. And uh, I'm a medical physicist, retired and consultant to a company called BEST and it has a lot of companies all over the world and deals uh, only with uh, radiation oncology uh, products and machines and accessories and whatnot. So that's what I'm going to talk about. So the title of my uh, presentation is Cancer Therapy by Radiation Oncology uh, Resources by Team Best Companies. And uh, I have a team based logo here. And it has uh, locally the offices in Virginia Springfield. And it has uh, all over the world, Paris and uh, Canada, a lot of companies. I'm just trying to get the next slide, but it doesn't move. Maybe just to push it in. Yeah, it's the this button here. Oh, you're right. There we go. This one here. Oh, the down okay. button. Okay, you Thank you. You're welcome. So here you have um, to treat the prostate cancer, uh, what you call the bracket therapy. Uh, seeds, radioactive seeds are uh, implanted in the prostate and they left it there and this is what's called a permanent uh, implant. And uh, of course, they'll be there and go to, I mean, the cemetery the patient. But uh, in one year, you know, the, most of the dose is given, especially for iron 125 seeds. And then the palladium seeds uh, is a much short half-life, 17 days. And so the 100% of the dose almost is given within um, uh, three months or so. And next one is, uh, the seeds iodine-125 and palladium-103, they are also available as single seeds as well as in the strands. And when you implant in the prostate cancer, uh, they are implanted permanently in the form of uh, uh, strands and according to customize for the patient based on the treatment planning. And then this is just called a uh, target scan touch and which provides the active surveillance of the slow-growing tumors and it uh, guides in the uh, biopsy also. And uh, this is one of the best uh, uh, tools best companies have. And it's called the Sonaris Imaging System using ultrasound imaging. And uh, it's very, very good. And when you do the implants by prostate, for example, this is used extensively. And it can give simultaneously the sagittal as well as uh, transfer planes, the images, which others, uh, um, others on machines do not have because I work with so many other machines. But this is very uh, versatile one. And uh, there is another one called uh, HDR, meaning a high dose rate uh, remote after loader. Uh, this is uh, this uses uh, basically your machine is outside and the patient is inside the treatment room and you put in a template and all the needles in the prostate for example or the breast especially and uh, from outside you guide the radioactive source into the catheters which are already in the breast tumor and then treat and very fast and very high dose and uh, treat, uh, it uses uh, mostly uh, iridium-192 isotope and now we are developing one with the cobalt-60 which has 
which is very useful for developing countries like uh, Nigeria and Cameroon and India and uh, uh, South American countries. Whereas in America, most of it is uh, Iridium-192 they use. And also, the another important thing is for the breast cancer, uh, when they try to find out where the cancer is based on your mammography and all that, uh, before the surgery and before the removal of the tumor by surgeon, breast surgeon, uh, he has to know exactly, he or she has to know exactly the tumor. So for the tumor localization, we have very, very low activity RN 125 seeds implanted uh, in the tumor so that when they do the surgery, uh, they know exactly which tissue to remove and then they also remove the radioactive seed also. This is a very, very low activity so they can stay there for one week without any problem, any health issue. Much, uh, low, much lower activity than say prostate implant. And also we have, since a long time, like 40 years or so, uh, Iridium-192 seeds. And they were extensively used like um, 70s, 80s and 90s. I have I mean, uh, experience with so many. I mean, that was the only seed used for breast cancer in the 80s and 70s and 90s. And then of course the HDR came and all this kind of stuff. Uh, electrons came, accelerators came and people used those. And still, some people still use the iridium on it. It was used extensively for the breast and head and neck cancers. And also, the another innovation breast, uh, breast companies have recently, now it is being used for the patients. After all the clinical trials and everything, a double balloon um, breast brachytherapy applicator. Uh, it has uh, two balloons, and then they are uh, filled with you know, saline solution. And then after the lumpectomy, for example, so in the OR, this uh, catheter is put in that cavity. And we have uh, sizes and then the advantage with this uh, double dual balloon breast therapy applicator is the outer balloon conforms to the skin and chest wall, which other existing available uh, uh, applicators and catheters, they don't have this facility. So that inner balloon will have about five catheters to fill in with the uh, radioactive isotope to treat the cancer. So the advantage is it gives very lower dose, radiation dose to chest wall, skin, heart, lung, for example, compared to other uh, applicators. So it is being increasing. The production is increasing now. The use is increasing now since. Uh, three to five months. It's very recent. And there is another one is for the intravascular brachytherapy. A brachytherapy is a term used to give radiation within the tumor on very close contact, as opposed to external therapy given from machines. Uh, this uses uh, beta uh, rays, which are very, very localized, the radiation, so that uh, normal tissue is not uh, affected and uh, beta rays are given from uh, strontium-90, tritium-90 which can be used. For example, some uh, heart patient has stents for example and uh, after that uh, 18 months or 2 years or 3 years didn't work, still there is a plague coming on and then they will use this one to remove that and it works. And then we have external beam therapies using cobalt-60 and they are all produced in Canada. It's a big uh, uh, company there, best comp one of the best companies in Ottawa, suburb. And uh, they produce all these cobalt machines. And one of them is the uh, Gamma Beam 300 Equinox. This is comparable to modern uh, linear, linear accelerator machines. It has all the imaging facilities and treatment planning and um, every what, what have you. And the simple machine for developing countries is Gamma Beam 180. 180 stands for 100 centimeters or 80 centimeters from the source to the patient's uh, skin, for example. What we call a SSD source skin distance. And this is a simple machine 
uh, which is uh, very very low maintenance and then very ideal for um, developing nations like in Africa or the South American countries and cheaper, much cheaper than uh, uh, accelerator or something like that. And then even the change of the cobalt 60 so which has half-life of 5.3 years. For five years you don't have to change the source. <laughs> so it's very, very good for this one. Some of the machines are in Cameroon, one or two. And the one or two is in uh, Nigeria. And then uh, Nigeria, we are going to have more machines. And also we have to be comparable to what you call uh, 3D CRT, which is conformal radiation therapy. That means the radiation doses um, conform to the shape of the tumor. So they're giving less dose to outside normal tissue. And uh, that's what uh, IMRT also is there. For example, intensity modulated radiation therapy, IGRT, intensity image guided radiation therapy. All these are the right today the modern um, technology, right, to treat by radiation therapy. All these big, big, uh, multi-million-dollar uh, machines do. But cobalt 60, which is cheaper than all those. Uh, also has what you call an MLC, which is a multi-leaf collimator, which will uh, give any shape you want, depending on the uh, tumor shape. And uh, with the multiple beams, like uh, 20 or 30 beams in a short time, the machine rotates and then also the dose can be varied. At one point, at some angle you give more dose, at some angle you give less dose. So that's why it's called intensity modulated radiation therapy. And IGRT is intensity guided radiation, image guided radiation therapy, which is uh, you look at the image of the uh, tumor and then the treatment volume before you view the radiation. So automatically the patient couch moves according to that and you can adjust from the outside control panel. And that also we can do with these cobalt 60 machines. And also we have uh, for patient immobilization, of course, the head and neck especially, we have some devices and then uh, you have to warm them in a oven. Uh, they are all the accessories for external therapy. And then you put it on the patient and then so that won't move, not even two millimeters. And then of course you remove it and then whenever the patient comes for treatment, you put it on. And we can, um, we also have a simulator which is called a, which simulates it's simply an X-ray machine which simulates the patient treatment fields. What fields, how big, what are the field sizes, where, and all that you can decide and then mark it on the patient's body, skin. So that's what the simulator does. So we also can supply the simulators. And we have a total body irradiator. For example, for the bone marrow transplantation, uh, you can um, irradiate the whole body with the big fields. And we also have um, tomotherapy, which is uh, like a pencil beams given over 350 degrees arc around the patient, and which is also more um, localized uh, dose distribution. Not for every tumor, but uh, if you want, you can do it. We have the tomotherapy machine. And we have blood irradiators for uh, blood transplant, transfusion and all that kind of stuff with the two opposing X-ray beams. And we also have recently, since uh, four or five years, cyclotrons. And that is a big uh, uh, hot uh, topic now. And uh, the, like we have various energies like 15 MeV, uh, 25 MeV, 15 to 35 MeV, and then we also have the 70 MeV. The lower energy ones are used for uh, production of the isotopes which are used in the nuclear medicine, for example, technetium-99, for example, or in the PET scans of fluorine, uh, uh, F-18, uh, all those things, FDG, for example, for that. So these uh, isotopes uh, you can produce using these uh, low energy um, cyclotrons, and 70 MeV is mostly for research, and also you can produce isotopes, and that's a big one. And for example, recently, Italian government bought it, and then uh, it's already installed and it just started working. And in two other uh, um, countries, uh, it's going to go in the next uh, few months. 
And the new products we have, uh, one is similar to the linear accelerators, which are, I mean, more expensive. And we also have uh, something similar to CyberKnife, you might have heard, with the, but using Cobalt 60, with a robotic Cobalt 60 machine, we call it. And then we have uh, for intraoperative radiotherapy. Uh, intraoperative radiotherapy is given when uh, um, in the regular room, still of course, and uh, uh, you remove the tumor, open up, you remove the tumor, and you can see the lateral in the tumor, and you remove it, and then uh, you put a, a cone, sterilized cone inside the patient's body, about four centimeters it goes inside, and then you give it the electrons the radiation, so that the neighboring uh, soft tissues are uh, spare of radiation dose. And intraoperative radiotherapy is given mainly, we, we did at Harvard University, I mean, so many cases, uh, started with pancreatic uh, tumors, and then uh, had the, in the brain also we did. But uh, at a lot of places they do it. Yeah. So we are developing a machine for the intraoperative radiotherapy, only with electrons. And the cancer in Cameroon, of course, uh, many uh, speakers talked about it. Uh, 14,000 new cases each year in Cameroon. 80% of the patients uh, they are at uh, palliative because at uh, advanced stage. And uh, already the one uh, new Equinox unit is there. And then uh, before that some Equinox uh, units, cover system machines are there in Cameroon. And uh, Nigeria and uh, Cameroon we are going to have some more. Uh, in the coming uh, few months. Thank you very much.